Hello and welcome to another Popper video. We're playing crazy stuff again. Name Sticker Goblin, Goblin War Party, uh, Goblin Archaeomancer, and Archaeomancer. We're going to slam in for lethal as soon as possible. So this deck works around Name Sticker Goblin uh, in paper that is mine or underscore goblin. And they work a little bit differently in paper and online. In Magic Online, Name Sticker Goblin, you roll a dice. 1 through 6, you add 4 mana. 7 through 14, you add 5 mana. And 15 through 20, you add 6 mana. So you don't know what you're going to get, but you could potentially roll, if you're going well, higher mana than uh, in paper. In paper, you're looking to set up your stickers, and then you're going to put a sticker on the goblin, and you know how much mana it's going to make. So it's kind of a little bit different there, but it's still really sick because it is a body and it's a ritual. And that's exactly what we need. It's also a goblin, which you can get with Goblin Matron. So the way this deck works, <clears throat> we're going to play stuff like Goblin or Narcomancer to make things cost less mana. We're going to jam a ton of rituals with Namesticker Goblin, Manamorphose, or Seething Song. And then we're going to go wide, Burning Tree Emissary, Goblin Matron, etc. And then use haste and pump effects like First Day of Class, Goblin Bushwhacker, and uh, Goblin War Party. So Goblin War Party, uh, it's a card from Modern Horizons, or Modern Horizons, yeah, Modern Horizons, okay. So this is create three one one red goblin creature tokens, or creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain haste until end of turn, or you can entwine it for three extra, so total of seven mana, which means with Goblin and Archomancer, you can cast it for six mana. And uh, this deck is just looking to slam in, basically. We've also got Avenging Hunter here in the main deck. So this is basically very similar to the other Goblin Storm deck, but instead of trying to draw our, our deck, we're going to chain Goblin Matrons or just put stuff on the table and attack. We're looking to go off on turn two or three. So you're very specifically trying to do good mulligans here. And this deck was built by Cosmic Charles, who has been tweaking it a lot. I have communicated with him a little bit, trying to uh, give it, give some of my own ideas as well. And that's how the Avenging Hunter came in. So this is like Goblin Storm plus, you know, the Juke of Fast Avenging Hunter, which can be very good against uh, blue decks or control decks. Um, that is most of the how the deck works, I guess. This deck was brought to us by, um, by Alan off the Patreon. He is going to have me play this for a Patreon deck donation. So if you are interested in doing a deck donation as well, you can contact me directly. We can work that out or you can sign up for a deck donation on Patreon. And I really appreciate that. If anybody wants sideboard guys as well, they're on my Patreon. Uh, that is a really good way to support the channel and get to see the decks that you want to see. But I didn't talk about the sideboard. Sideboard, we've got the Flaring Pain for Strands, six Red Blasts for Blue Decks, four Mutagenic Growth specifically for Bolt on Namesticker Goblin because we can keep it alive. And then these two cards, Pest Summoning and Spirit Summoning, they work with First Day of Class, which, which can fetch it from the sideboard using Learn. All right, I'm a little all over the place. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure that you like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought about the deck. And I have a special surprise where anybody that comments and I will be giving away one 120 play point pack and that will, I'm sorry, I will be giving away a 120 play point promo code as part of the Magic Online Creator Program. So make sure to comment, let me know you uh, what you thought about the video. <laughs> this video is brought to us by cardmarket.com, the largest seller of Magic the Gathering cards in Europe. So check them out if you want to build this deck and surprise all the people in your local metagame. I think that's it for me, so let's get to the matches. Okay, we're here in round one versus best PT trader. We're on the play. Pretty good. We have mana, Goblin War Party, Bushwhacker. So this is four, five, six mana to go for four power. And then the next turn we can do it again. I think I'm gonna keep this. I feel like it has the potential to get there. Uh, we're gonna untap with five men on turn three, six, seven. Let's see what happens. I think our best draw would be a name sticker goblin or maybe first day of class. Our opponent plays goblin blast runner. 
So we're going to look to go all in at some point. A second war party? Interesting. So, five, six, seven. Hmm. Pass the turn. We could just put three goblins on the table on the next turn. And a bushwhacker. And then the turn after that, maybe go for it. I need a little bit more mana in order to actually do the thing I want. They're getting in for one. We can kind of ignore them and just try to go, like, slam in. Okay, Woodlock puts me to six mana. Six, seven, eight, nine, four, eight, nine, ten. Plays a synthesizer. Maybe I should have played the war party there so I could just do everything the next turn. Plays a synthesizer. Finding a mountain. They're going to get in for two. So if I kick this or entwine this right now, okay, let's see. Two, four, six, seven, eight mana. War party, war party. Seven, eight, nine. Eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, six, seven, eight. So eight attackers. So 16 damage this turn. And then I just kick a bushwhacker on the next turn. Okay, let's do it. Or, oh my god. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for it. This is 3, 5, 9, 10. 8, 9, 10. Okay. Seething Song. Cast this. Oh, this is actually just 14 damage. Just 14. Darn it. Oh well. Cast this again. They'll probably have a bolt here. Okay, cast with kicker. You want to take 14 or 12? If they bolt something, they take 12 damage. Coming in. Hopefully they don't have any uh, end the festivities in the main deck. That would wreck us. They bolt one. They go to eight. So our best draw, I guess, would be Avenging Hunter, because then we can Avenging Hunter plus Bushwhacker. There's a Reckless Lackey. They have three blockers. Two, three. Okay, now they only have two blockers. Two mana is up. So we should be able to kill them. They can kill this, kill this, block the other one. And we don't have to lose our stuff, so let's just Bushwhacker and attack. They can deal with three of the creatures via Burn Spell, Burn Spell, Block. Block. Actually, maybe they could have dealt with four. Okay, we win. Sweet. So let's bring in the mutagenic growths. This is specifically to keep the name sticker alive through Bolt. And then Avenging Hunter's probably kind of medium. This is really expensive. And then one first day of class. So we're trimming. Now we only have eight pump, pump and attack effects. But we still have a little bit more top end. And Cosmic Charles said that you want to have enough top end to continue. Six to eight post board, he said. Let's see if we can do it again. We're looking for a speedy, speedy hand. We have a lot of mana, nothing else to do. Our opponent keeps seven. This is so risky. Like if we just draw a couple lands, we won't do anything and we'll lose. I think I'm gonna mulligan. Oh man, I have to mulligan this one. Okay, I guess I'm keeping this. Put back the first day of class and one Avenging Hunter. If I find one more mana, this is a turn Potentially a turn to Avenging Hunter. And then we can keep these things alive with Mutagenic Growth. <clears throat> Just need uh first day of class is okay. Opponent plays a mountain, environmental synthesizer, and what do they find? Mog Raider. They can cast that, that's a one drop. This is sacrifice a goblin, target creature gets plus one, plus one, and it's a turn, which is actually quite good with the uh seething song. Let's see. That doesn't do it because we won't have green mana. I'll pass the turn. But if we do find one more mana source, we can go Seething Song, First Day of Class, Name Sticker, Goblin, Avenging Hunter. So I just have to hope that I can get there. They're going to attack for seven, putting me to nine. Finding a Narcomancer. I mean, the only thing I can really do here is play the Narcomancer. And then if it lives, like we can Mutagenic Growth to keep it alive. And then the next turn, we can Seedling Song, First Day of Class, Name Sticker, Goblin, Avenging Hunter, and maybe go for Lethal. Lightning Bolt, we're gonna protect it. I don't have anything I can do here though. So, another Bushwhacker. All right, they win the game. Not gonna get there. 
Maybe the first hand would have been okay. Let's try it again. Okay, let's do this. Needle. We have a lot going on. I'm going to keep this because if I draw any mana source, I'm just going to go off. Pass the turn. Mounted for the opponent. Burning tree. I'm going to pass. We could just go burning tree, burning tree. And then be on the table. All right, I'll do it. Burning tree. The burning tree. We'd lose out on the potential for playing in a, uh, an Archomancer, but having four power on the table is pretty good here. They want to bolt these. I think that's okay. We're looking to draw into some mana. They have another bolt. At least that's not going face, right? I guess maybe I could Mutagenic Growth to keep this one alive. I'm just going to attack. I'm going to try to peck away at them so I can find a lethal line. Okay, they go to 18. We'll keep that, we'll let that die because I want to use the mutagenic growth for the name sticker goblin. They play a tomb raider. Get in for one. Okay. And stone needle. All right, so I'm looking to potentially get there the next turn. This is four, five, six, seven mana. Okay. Let's see if they play anything. They don't. That's concerning. They might have double bolt for the name sticker goblin. They're going to bushwhacker here. Okay. They get in for six. We go to 11. Let's see what we can draw. I'm going to change some metamorphoses. Let's start with Sticker Goblin. They have the bolt. I'm going to mutagenic. Going to nine. All right. So we get some mana. Let's see what we roll. Four. Let's metamorphose. Draw some cards. We're going green, green. Needle. Morphos. We're going to go red, green. Nothing. Wow. Five, six, seven mana. I guess I just play the needle and then one, three, four, five. I guess I just seething song. Then kick this, or kick this war party. I mean, we're dealing them a bunch of damage, but I think we're just dead. Because this is 11, but they could probably kill us here. If I find a goblin matron off the top, I can go matron, matron, bushwhacker, and the festivities. Okay. Double end the festivities. We'll see you in round two. We are in round two versus Land Me, who is, uh, really likes to play storm combo and, uh, burn decks. We have double party. Let's keep this. We can turn to seething song, burning tree. We play sawblade scamp. Seething Song, Burning Tree, War Party, Bushwhacker. There's a Sticker Goblin. Okay. Your turn. I think this could be a big turn for us, depending on what they do. Okay, they're playing a 2-drop. That's good for me. Then for 1, we're going to go Sticker Goblin. Anamorphos. See if we can draw into something. Green, red. Seething Song. So we can go... We have five mana, six, seven, eight, nine mana, five, nine mana. Let's see. So this is just going to happen. We need to get everything on the table. So maybe we just go Goblin War Party. This is five, six, seven, nine. Okay, so we have to go Seething Song, Seething Song, Goblin War Party, make three creatures, get everything plus one, plus one in haste with this. Next turn, Bushwhacker. That's the plan. We are dumping our hand. Pass this. Because this is the only way to actually use our mana effectively. Okay. That's a lot of damage coming in. Turn two, baby. It takes six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We might not be able to kill them. Right now we have five attackers. I'll probably leave back the Sawblade Scamp. Next turn we just kick the Bushwhacker and uh, pray for... I hope, hope that it's going to be good enough. Sort of a Belcher deck. All right, no attacks for the opponent. That's pretty expected. Let's kick this Wishwhacker. So right now this is... 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 damage. They can block these two and take 8. Or if they have any burn spells, they can take out our big our 3x's three, three and uh, block one of these and only take like 4. And then we'll be probably not doing super hot. They're going to ping us. Probably bolt these two down. Incinerate. Okay, so they're taking out 
Me? You're going face? That's a surprise. Send. Okay, the Sawblade scam's gonna die. They're taking five. They're going to one. They're gonna ping me to 13. So they could maybe have like Bolt Bolt Fire Blast here and kill me. Let's see. We go to 11. Each bolt is three damage. So they have to have a Fire Blast. Lava Spike. Go to three. Fire Blast kills me. I live in that four Fire Blast life. They got me. Okay. I think we do want to keep all the Avenging Hunters in. And then let's trim on... We want the Mutagenics. I feel like cutting these and this. I don't know how good the War Party is. Maybe I'll just cut one Avenging Hunter. I just I think that's really strong versus them because they're not they don't have very much attackers. Very many attackers. Alright, we'll just go to I'll just do the same board plan, whatever. Try it again. That was really close. We put them to one. Then they had the fire blast. This is a turn to Avenging Hunter. Let's keep. Because if this resolves, um, this makes four mana and then five mana with the Lotus Petal. If it makes more than four mana, we can Manamorphose into the Avenging Hunter. And then if our opponent is leaving up the Bolt, we can't really afford to play the Name Sticker Goblin. They're leaving up a Bolt. Here we can just lay out the Avenging Hunter. Okay, Avenging Hunter enters the battlefield. We're going to grab our Mountain. And then next turn... If they double bolt the Avenging Hunter, we can name sticker Goblin, then kick a War Party, hopefully. Four, five mana. Grab the Mountain, your turn. Lotus Petal was a pretty good rip there for sure. They bolt us to 17. Wow, one lander, huh? We're gonna forge on the Avenging Hunter. Seems like turn one Avenging Hunter is just the way to be here. I'm going to attack for seven. I'm looking to not play the name sticker goblin unless I have the mutagenic growth or they tap out. But they're probably going to die. They go to 13. Next turn it's 7 plus 5 which puts them to 1. Bolt again. They just go bolt face. So that's 2 instant speed 1 mana removals. Plays a sawblade scamp. Okay. Are you going to attack? They're attacking. They take the initiative. Finding a mountain. I can't play that this turn though. Lava Spike face to untap the Sawblade Scamp. So I think they're dead. Let's see. Let's go Manamorphose. Looking for a mana. Red, green. Find it. Let's play the Name Sticker Goblin. We have seven, eight mana. Let's Manamorphose. Going red, green again. Find a Mutagenic. Seven. This costs seven, so let's just cast the Bushwhacker and then kick this Goblin War Party, and they're dead. He's like, what? You didn't kick it. What's happening? Oh, it's happening. I'm just putting a body on the table. Even if we mutagenic growth here, yeah, they're, they're like, oh, I, I die. <laughs> I didn't even kick it. Okay, let's bring back the Avenging Hunter. Let's cut the first day of class. Bring in the War Party. So we can go wide enough to protect the Avenging Hunter. I mean, it's tough. I uh, think this is a keep. We have mana, we have a payoff. Double mutagenic. We play a Voldaren Epicure. That's sort of a surprise. <clears throat> Find an Anarchomancer. Wow. Uh, is that good enough? We're so close. Okay, pass the turn. We play a Thermo Alchemist. Get in for one. We need one more mana in order to go the distance here, because we can see things song. There it is. Okay, so play the Lotus Petal, play Burning Tree Emissary, play a Narcomancer, exile this, we'll go red, play Seething Song, we will Matron, yes, grab the Bushwhacker, and kick it. Now we'll attack with everything. And I'm going to Mutagenic Growth, whichever one he blocks with the Alchemist, if it's one of these two ones. Okay. We go to 16. Take a bunch of damage. You're at 12. I don't think that was actually how what I wanted to have happen. I wanted to get a little bit deeper, but we didn't get there. So let's see if he can kill us from 12 with 2 mana. I felt like I, 
<laughs> Maybe that was a trap. I needed one more mana so I could go Matron, Matron, Bushwhacker. I also wanted to go like Matron, Namesticker, Goblin, Matron, Bushwhacker. I just didn't have all that at once. It's a sweet deck though. Chain Lightning, okay. We're at 13. We have six power coming in. No attacks. All right, I think I attack with everything. I'm gonna block a 2 2. Take four damage. Two, three, four, five, six. So this means I should burn Tree Emissary here. Put eight power on the table. So they're dead. Um, see what happens. We're completely out of mana. We have mutagenic growth in hand. Lightning bolts us to 10. Once again, I'm dead to bolt, bolt, fire blast. Don't do it. Three mana. They have the chain lightning. Incinerate. And a fire blast. Man. A GG. On round three. Okay, round three. We have a turn one, a Narcomancer. Let's see. This is probably okay. Keep. Or turn two, a Narcomancer. And then we can. Hmm. I feel like there's power here. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Our opponent mulligans to five. Escape tunnel. So it's probably fairies. First day of class, huh? Play the needle. Pass the turn. This is kind of stinky. Like. We're gonna have to catch them tapping out. We can burn a tree into a Narcomancer, or we can like turn to just cast the first day of class, then go burn a tree and Narcomancer. We'll have two three threes that are attacking. Turn two. A cycle on Ash Barons. Getting a plane, so it's Tireless Tribe. Okay, that's a lot better for me actually. Play the Woodlot. So now what do I do? I could still go Spirit Guide. First day of class, Emissary, Narcomancer, attack for six. Next turn, Matron into Sticker Goblin into Bushwhacker. Plus cast the thing off of first day of class. All right. Exile these, cast first day of class. Grab the Spirit Summoning, because that costs two mana now. But Burning Tree Emissary, we have a 3-3. Three, three. Goblin and Narcomancer, attack you for six. That was cool. So they probably have um, Circular Logic as their counterspell. I don't know if they're going to be able to actually cast it this turn. They play the Modern Age, so they're probably dead here. Matron into Sticker Goblin, make four mana, Spirit Summoning Bushwhacker. Double Bushwhacker. Let's go Goblin Matron. We lose to a Force Spike, I guess. Yes. Grab the Name Sticker Goblin, cast the Name Sticker Goblin. Make four mana. So... What's more damage? Bushwhacker, Bushwhacker, three. Yep, that's more damage. Bushwhacker, Bushwhacker. All right, win another game. Blonk. <laughs> uh, okay. Pyroless Tribe. Okay, so we want all the Pyros. And then I do think Avenging Hunter is really good versus blue. But I feel like first day of class is not that good. They could have strands, but it's not going to matter that much. Let's cut one. I need one more cut. I'm going to cut the war party here. I'm just going to basically Turbo Goblins or Avenging Hunter. I don't think Goblin War Party does that much. Maybe first day of class is slightly better than Goblin War Party here. Just because it can grab our sideboard card. As a two for one, I think that's probably pretty good. We have a Narcomancer again. Let's keep. Does this do anything though? Not really. Let's mulligan. We have a lot of red blasts. Okay. Or we have one red blast. I can keep this. Get rid of. So if I get rid of the red blast, turn two, I go Spirit Guide, Seething Song, First Day of Class, Burning Tree Emissary, Matron, which seems pretty good. When it goes Land Preordain. Sorry. I always do a yield when no possible play, and then Simeon Spirit Guide messes me up because I have the possible play of Exile in this for a red mana. Then what do we get off the Goblin Matron? A Bushwhacker? Find a Bushwhacker. Okay, let's pass the turn. We play a Squadron Hawk. Okay. Another Seething Song. So does that do anything different? Three mana, five, seven mana. First day of class, back to five mana. Burning Tree Emissary. And we can matron, and with matron, 
we get the Anarchomancer. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm going to do something. Let's exile this. Make five mana. Pass first day of class. Pick up the spirit. Pass the seething song. Five mana. Burning tree emissary. Goblin matron. Into bushwhacker. And then if I draw, I can put this spirit summoning into play later. Or I can go seething song. Five mana. Matron. Get an archimancer. Burning tree emissary into an archimancer. Everything attacks. Next turn I bushwhacker. Okay, I'll, I'll do that one. That way, if I draw something else, I can, like a Metamorphose, I can use it. Okay, Seething Song, Burning Tree Emissary, Matron, grab the Anarchomancer. And with Anarchomancer, now I can cast a Spirit Summoning on a later turn. Attack Force 8. Straight through the Squadron Hawk. Plays a Modern Age. Huh. They might discard a strands here. Okay, they do. I can play this woodlot and attack four, eight again. They're gonna take five. So now they have to play out a squadron hawk in order to use the strands. If they don't play squadron hawk, then we get to just attack them for lethal. They're brainstorming. Maybe I just get rid of all my extra pump effects. I don't know. They're gonna use the escape tunnel. Okay. Squadron hawk. Picks up the hawk that they put back with the brainstorm. They clear it that way. Play a red mana. Maybe it would be better. Let's see what they do. They're gonna block and lose their hawk. And now they're now they don't have any way of using the strands. Oh no, they have one hawk left in hand. They have a vector glider now. Transmutes dizzy spell for tireless tribe. Is tireless tribe? Okay. Back. Is strands in response. So I could be dead here. I'm gonna play a spirit summoning. Pass the turn. They have seven cards in hand. So if they can make this unblockable with a shadow rift and then cast inside out, that's lethal. Fair enough. Gonna be a lot of one twos this league. <laughs> want the flaring pains. So do I caught the avenging hunter then? Get rid of this. Get rid of two red blasts. This is really tough. I think if I can turn two an avenging hunter, we probably win. This is really weird. Um, I'm gonna keep it. it. Has a lot of potential. We can turn two an anarchomancer, and then if we draw red mana, we can really go off. That's the turn, because we can go seething song, anarchomancer, matron, matron, sticker goblin, bushwhacker. They play a tireless tribe on turn one. Burning Tree Emissary into an Archimancer. So we need, we're looking for a Mountain or a Simian Spirit Guide. We play a Modern Age. Discarding a Brainstorm. Looking for a red mana right here. Lotus Petal, Mountain, Simian Spirit Guide. Lotus Petal. Okay, play that. Seething Song. Play a Narcomancer. Matron. Grab a Matron. Matron for Matron. Matron again. Grab the Name Sticker Goblin. Play Name Sticker Goblin. Pyroblast, kill this thing. And let's see, we got two, four, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if this is lethal. Three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, turn three, attack for 20. They have to block with the Tireless Tribe. Then they will have to discard a card to keep it alive, which means they probably can't kill me on the next turn. And then from there, maybe they could kill us. The discard is strands, okay, fair enough. Cast the strands. I had all this power on the table, my friend. I was excited. Inside out, deal me 20. <laughs> what is going on? Ah, uh, geez. That's 20, I believe, yeah. Plus 12. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yep, all right. Okay, this is a crazy hand. We make, this is completely all in, but I'm gonna keep it. We have three mana on turn one, into Seething Song, and we burn a tree into Narcomancer, Matron. Our opponent mulligans to five. They play Power Plant, okay, so it could be Tron. First day of class, interesting. 
So I guess we just go Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide, Spirit Guide, Seeding Song, First Day of Class, Burning Tree, Narcomancer. And then try to hit some red mana later. All right, let's see what happens. They're on Tron, so this might be enough. Seeding Song. Or we could also discard the Matron, trying to hit a land drop, because we don't do anything else. Discard this. Burning Tree Emissary into... So we have six power on turn one attacking. That was very all in. Okay, take six. It's a four turn clock. Can you beat that? Plays a Chromatic Sphere. We have a Simeon Spirit Guide. We're going to attack for six again. They're probably on Altertron based on this. They're going to go down to two. <laughs> we win with our six power on turn one. Oh man, that was cool. I enjoyed that. <laughs> okay, so this is a good matchup. Um, they're probably not going to, I think I'm just not going to sideboard. I don't expect a uh, moment's peace. Okay. We have decent mana and we have a bushwhacker. We can't do it on turn two though. One, two, looking at like a turn three. So our opponent's ancient stirring zing finds an Urza's mine on a lotus petal. I don't think that really changes anything. I guess we can Burning Tree into Goblin War Party on turn two. Narcomancer. Okay, let's go Needle, Burning Tree Emissary into a Narcomancer. So we're starting out the exact same as last game, but next turn we can really go off, uh, depending on if they're going to be holding up Weather the Storm or something. So they could Weather the Storm right now and gain nine life. Okay. That probably means they only had the one Weather of the Storm in hand and they're needing to do something on this next turn because otherwise they uh, could have just waited. <clears throat> yeah, I expect that they're going to be trying to find lands here. Brexit for a green. The cycling, basically. Cycle's a generous ent. Okay, so they're not on Altertron. They're on some sort of crazy thing. Seething Song. All right, let's go... Seething Song, Anamorphos. We'll make green red. Found the Avenging Hunter. All right, sick. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. This costs four. We clearly want to play this. I think they, I don't know if they're dead, but they're going to be close to dead. So do I want the mountain or forest? We have four mana, five, six. This costs six. Let's just go, we're going to castle the forest. Basically nothing. Just get the mountain. Costs three, six mana. Or we can play the mountain, play War Party Bushwhacker. But I think I want to have all the power right now. So maybe I'll just kick this and then kick this next turn. So four mana, five, six mana. I should play this out and then kick entwine this so now they're taking a lot but yeah Let's see 6 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 damage and i assume that we probably want to put the forge counters onto the anarchomancer next turn because if they have breath weapon then it won't only will only kill some of my creatures not all my creatures they cycle the chromatic star <laughs> thank you the wow gg gg Wow. Alright, All right, we'll see you in round five. Let's get that two three. Okay, we've got a pretty decent looking hand. Turn two, name sticker goblin, and then go off. Reverses Professor Pidu or Prof Pidu. Island into Fairy Seer. That's a little bit scary. If we can get under them, then we'll be fine. It's, they don't have a lot of power to stop us. Um, as long as they don't stuff our first name sticker goblin here. We're looking for them to just ninja right now. They do cast a ninja. Well, I guess they're not casting it. They're ninjutsuing a ninja. So this is likely mono blue fairies. Best draw is probably a narcomancer. Find a simian spirit guide. Let's go for name sticker goblin. See how much mana we make. Six mana is good. Let's try. So. Four, five, six. Okay. So we can 
I think I'm going to Metamorphose and see if I can find um, anything else. Avenging Hunter. Okay, I like that. So, play Burning Tree. Cast the Avenging Hunter. And then, you can grab a mountain. Exile the Simeon Spirit Guide and kick the Bushwhacker. Aya! How does it taste? We got 14 damage on turn 2. <clears throat> now, of course, they could just snap the Avenging Hunter. They're going to get in. They're going to uh, get an island of lots and lots of blockers. Snap on the Avenging Hunter would be worst case scenario. But they're playing the Fairy Seer pre-combat, which means that they're going to screw up. Oh, Contaminated Aquifer. Well, they can't really afford to snuff out here. And we can just cast a Goblin War Party for the attacks. Maybe kill them. I will forge, put it on my smallest creature. They're going to snuff out the Avenging Hunter. Okay. This is lethal, though. And we win. Got him. Uh, okay, nice. So now we need the Pyroblasts. Basically the main thing we're going to bring in. Definitely want to keep all four Avenging Hunters. And then... I don't want to go wide. So if I cut all of the pump effects that are expensive and not that good, then what do we have left over? War Party probably is the best of the rest. Let's do that one. Maybe we could consider cutting a Seething Song instead and bringing in another War Party. Um, they're likely to have Sweepers, and our best draw is some sort of protected turn one Avenging Hunter. Turn two. This is not really a turn one deck in general, other than another game where we just had Triple Simeon Spirit Guide into Seething Song. So, sometimes you just have the nuts. Okay, so this hand is slow, but we do have a Red Blast. They're keeping seven. I think I'm going to keep it. Because we can go land, blast your thing. They lead on Contaminated Aquifer, so I can just play the Needle out, I think. Plays an Island and an Augur of Bolus. Brainstorm. I will play my Needle and pass the turn. We are close to the Avenging Hunter, but I need the uh, Burning Tree in order to cast it. If they Ninja here, I'm going to try to Red Blast it. Getting in for one. All right. Another Avenging Hunter. Play Goblin Matron. And I'm going to get a another Matron, I guess. Or the Narcomancer. Or the Namesticker Goblin. I think the highest upside is the Narcomancer. Our opponent brainstorms. We play another Augur. Let's see what they reveal. Reveals a snuff out. Okay. It's in. All right, we have another Avenging Hunter. Play Burning Tree Emissary. My main goal here is to try to put creatures on the table and Avenging Hunter. Play my Anarchomancer. I will attempt to cast a Manamorphose. Good green. On a Lotus Petal. I can play an Avenging Hunter. That resolves. Okay. So I'm actually just gonna get a mountain here. In the mountain. That way I have the Red Blast available. And I'm not going to attack. I cast Echoing Decay on my Narcomancer. That's fine. Snuff out on the Avenging Hunter. Okay. Snuff out again. Okay. You still have to attack with everything. So I'm not going to block so that I can attack with the Matron. If they take the initiative. They're going to get a land here. Just snuff out, snuff out, snuff out. It's kind of a... That's a popper experience, that's for sure. Plays a Brainstorm. Is a land. We're going to attempt to counter the Augur Bolus. They have a Spell Sorter Sprite. Sure. Finds a Hydro Blast. We have another Avenging Hunter. And I will forge on my Avenging Hunter, I guess. The way that I win probably is by attacking my Avenging Hunter over and over. They can Hydro Blast the Matron. They've used double snuff out, so we don't really know if they have any other things in hand. We know they have Hydro Blast. Plays an island, Hydroblast in hand. Gets in for one, three, four. They're going to ninja. Now they can pump up one of their creatures, and then I guess that's enough to kill me. Because they can block everything. Annoying. The war party wasn't good enough. 
We really didn't draw enough mana either. Maybe mutagenic growth is okay. I don't think so though. Bring the first day class back in. All right, we're on the play. It's pretty close, right? But I don't think good enough. Need more mana. Let's mulligan. Turn one. Wait, 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 wait. Four mana. I'm gonna keep this. Put back a lotus petal. This is a turn to avenging hunter. Land. Pass the turn. This is five mana right here. They play a tap land. We're good. Looks like they have a hydroblast in hand. Play lotus petal. Play lotus petal. Play avenging hunter. All right. They will grab a mountain. Pass the turn. They're brainstorming. I think I probably want to. Well, I guess it depends if they have a snuff out, right? If they have a black land, they could snuff out my creature. They don't have a black land. So I think I want to Lost while looking for a Pyroblast here. I have a Hickory Woodlot and Manamorphose. I'm going to bottom both of these. Drawing a Seething Song. Attack for five. I imagine that they end step Spell Slaughter Sprite and attack. There it is. So let's see if they have a basic swamp. If they have a basic swamp, they could play the basic swamp and then snuff out my creature and then I'm just straight up dead. Reveals a swamp. Preordain for the opponent. Looking for the snuff out. Bottom bottom. Plays an island. So they're holding up counterspell mana. Okay. And attack you. They go to 10. And we get to go into stash. Make a green. Or a treasure token. So, if I cast the Narcomancer right here, they probably have a Counterspell. Then I can go for the Hail Mary Manamorphose looking for a Pyroblast. I'm going to play this, and then Manamorphose on their upkeep. Try a Manamorphose here for Red Red. And Pyroblast destroying this Spellstar Sprite. Sweet! That worked! That is awesome. That is exactly according to plan. So next turn we're going to get Catacombs, so we'll have another creature. And this turn we can cast the Anarchomancer potentially. They have four mana. Hopefully all they have is Counterspells. Catacombs makes a creature that can't get snuff outed, but it can get hit with the Echoing Decay. They have a attack. Go to five. Just going to pass, I guess. No spell setter Sprite end step, they're just dead. They've got to be dead here. Like, what are you going to do? You can't Hydroblast my Avenging Hunter if you have... Yeah, you're dead. Let's see. Maybe they're not. You want to snuff out my Avenging Hunter and then also kill my other thing? I'm just going to grab another Avenging Hunter. It's, a, it's an 8-7 giant beater with Hexproof. And they scoop. Yes! We got 2-3. <laughs> Look how many games we won. Like, we always won a game in every match, I think. I gotta go back to this. We won a, a game every single match. It just comes down to our ability to mulligan well and just execute. But, like, this deck is really strong. It's really fun. I hope that you enjoyed. Go back and check it out. All right. And now, uh, don't forget, like, subscribe, comment. If you leave a comment... I will do a giveaway for 120 play points code to a lucky commenter within uh, three days from posting this, and I will let you know and send you the message. Thanks again, everybody. Hashtag still listening. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.